Alright, hello once more YouTube. Welcome back to more From the Dips. I cannot remember where we are. Uh, right. Listening. Looks like the Skyrays are about to have a fight with Spectre. Oh, there's a very big group down there. We'll do that first. You also fight that Spectre, hopefully on your own. I'm not including those guys yet. No, we don't want to drag those guys into the fight. Spectre's the stealth ship, right? This should be easy. Uh, I maybe shouldn't say it and jinx it, but I believe if this is the stealth ship, it should be a reasonably easy win, because they should be able to just laser it out of existence. Oh, unless it's the U-boat again. No, it is the stealth ship. Okay. Well, it has got smoke. Will there be enough to protect it? Not entirely, by the looks of it. It's got some interceptors, but not enough. Well, the decoys look like they pulled the load away at the last second. Yeah, it is resisting fire, but then again, our, miss our decoys are also pulling away theirs. And some of our missiles are landing, but a lot of them are missing. Maybe we should upgrade the ship guided. I found out that seemed to work quite nicely. At any rate, the uh, visually guided lasers still seem to be landing quite well. Do some reduced damage, but the smoke screen on this thing is drying up quite quickly, I'm noticing. Maybe all the materials are being used up for those missiles. I'd hope at this point that we drop some more decoys or we might be in trouble there. That thing is actively waiting until our missiles are near it to fire decoys, isn't it? That is frustrating. It looks like we got a full volley off. Oh, whoops. Oh, didn't work on those ones, though. They must have already been too close. I think we are winning it, but it is resisting fire very well for a single smallish ship. What difficult is the Spectre meant to be? It's quite expensive for its size. It's quite heavily kitted out internally, clearly. Should have had the uh, torpedo one, apparently. Torpedo Skyray. Like some of our missiles that are distracted by the decoys at first are coming back around to hit it again. Smoke is probably blunting most of the laser damage. But they will be burning a fair few resources to do that. And everyone's decoys are throwing everyone's missiles off on this one. But we have the lasers and they do not seem to have any kind of secondary gun so I think we're going to get this one. Especially with wounds like that. Those will start to add up. So clearly a, a pure missile ship can be a, a perfectly functional design, judging by this thing. Kind of appreciate. We haven't tried doing that yet. Not for a while anyway. We have the so it's technically we had to patrol and patrol too. It's definitely said it will do. If we do a season two, I might re go back to some of our ideas that we've used previously, but upgrade them. Improve versions of the patrol and the hatchet and everything like that. A lot of designs that were good earlier on, but have sort of fallen, fallen back in the later game. Look at all the blocks dropping off. They must be doing some damage, because there's a veritable row of blocks. Ah, we destroyed it, that's why. <coughs> got it in the end. Skyrays have still got it, although they are definitely showing their age at this point. What used to be a very reliable craft. They are now definitely struggling. Moving out. Moving out. They take that. Don't know whether they can take a cyclone on or not. Or was that the submarine? Oh, that might have been the submarine that causes problems earlier. Right. Slow mo, where are we at? There is a base there. Ended by Cat Shark, Cat Shark, Argonaut, Resolute, Saber, Allegiance, Black Tip Shark. Receiving. That's a lot of ships. I would like to attack, but that's a lot of ships. We could try and take some of the territory down here, potentially. I've got loads of stuff guarding it, though. Woylin Norge, Starstrand. That's pretty big, I think. I seem to remember that name. Hmm. 
Moving out. I'll try and pull some of them away, I suppose. Um, yeah, the new radar balloons are helping a lot because we can now actually see. If we could get the Scarlet Dawn's help, maybe? How long until the next meeting? 16 minutes? Receiving. All right, the repair oscillus can also set off for that one. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need to steal Scarlet Dawn's help. Why have we got so many here that don't have anything built on them? What is going on over here? Refinery. Get to be a new construction sifter. It might be a bad uh, combat craft, but it's still a reasonably good... Um, no, that's the wrong one. It might be a bad combat craft, but it's still a reasonably good construction ship, although we should probably build a better dedicated one at some point. Oh, we're still on. Sword slow-mo, right. I don't know what always spins when loaded in. They always do that. They always spin or move a little bit, like... We could also use some more commodities, because we don't have a huge amount of those at the moment. But yeah, I'd be willing, even though the Scarlet Dawn will be really strong later, I'd be willing to ally with them against the this, this, um, Steel Striders for the moment. Alright, construction sifters, split off. Select it, right. Moving Out to there, please. Also fill its, yeah, fill its cargo. Good, right. Yeah, the product... Is there, f is there base unguarded? Receiving. Have they given us an opportunity to slip through? Listening. Listening. The Dragoons aren't in the shape to do it, but the Skyries could. Moving out. We have to try, right? <clears throat> Moving out. They've left their base unguarded. At least by the looks of it. If we could do that, it's a cheesy way to win, but it'll, it'll work. I'm going to save the campaign because we won't get another shot. Well, not that we're going to revert anyway, but we won't get another shot that good. I think it's worth a try. A little cheesy, perhaps, but again, if they've left their base unguarded and some upstart new faction slips through their defences and hits them. Speaking of new ships, though, how's our flagship doing? It's okay. It's just capturing at the moment. Oh, they're sending a lot to go fight it by the look of it. Yeah, they're pulling all their forces away to deal with us. They're leaving themselves undefended. What is chasing it? Black tip shark. Okay, it's not fast enough to. Oh, it's turning back even. Listening. Yeah, which of you guys are gathered here? Hunter, the hunters, our fast Listening. ships, and these another Skyry fleet. Skyry fleet could go for the black tip, or it could go for the cyclone. Tinty? No, Psycho's a sub. I think that was the one that destroyed it in the first place. Oh, hang on, hunter fleet. Craftsman, that's what you're literally built to fight. That was literally the ship you were originally designed to to fight against. Yeah, I think we might manage this, you know. We might be able to hit the headquarters. I don't know if that'll kill them, if we have to destroy all the secondary bases, but I think it's just, um... Damascus. That's your airfield. I'm not seeing anything obvious. We've got some missions. Well, let's try it anyway. At any rate, it looks like it's a major base. ICBM facility, and I have got some defenses that are not completely unguarded. Yeah, if that was the second Skyry fleet. Moving out. If you guys can try and back them up. Moving out. The flagship might have to do some fighting here. I think it's gonna be in fact I think it's gonna be doing a lot of fighting here. But it'll try and fight them as they come. Receive. Might be the case that we lose the flagship again here, but it is strong. It can probably take on a few of them on its own. No, they're pulling back. Do they know? No, that one's still coming. Interesting. Oh, is it because of the Oh, is it because of the hunter fleet? Listening. Moving out. Yeah, go for the craftsman. Listening. Oh, they've run away. Receiving. The one the Wolan was the submarine. I think we leave that alone if we can. Because it's running off. Listening. Okay, and while we're there, 
listening. I'll think about it. Let's have to let's get these ones that can be constructing bases, constructing bases. Might as well take all the resources we can while we're here. Right. Oh, where's the... Hello? Where's the building thing? This is a construction sifter, right? It is finished. Why is it... Have I seriously said the construction sifter without a uh, vehicle spawner? Really? How did I manage that? <clears throat> yeah, I think it has. Wow, I'm not sure how that's happened. Save vehicle. No, hang on. Set it up right. Q. 50 meters and hold until complete. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how we managed that. That's very weird. All right, refinery, please. Okay, that's building. That's fine. All right. Hey, the hunter fleet called up the crossman. No, don't spawn on the melee one. <laughs> What's with the fart noise? Why are we running at slow speed there? Yeah, that is what the hunters were built to do. They were built to attack supply ships on the way uh, as they move around. But this helicopter specifically is what they were tested on. And there's the melee one doing its job and ramming it. <clears throat> it was so good at doing it in testing when it wasn't supposed to that we actually partly converted one of them with rubber and uh, and spikes to do it deliberately. Or rams, I suppose you'd say. And it's actually managed to do that before as well, carrying the tail. Whoops. It says it smashed its own. Maybe its own tail needs um some rubber on the front to stop it doing that. But it can still fly about it, just not quite as well. I'd also do that to it. Whoops. Did a bit of damage for our own friendly fight. Yeah, they're a bit chaotic, these three, but they get the job done. One of our new craft. They've been rather good so far. I should say that as if the other new ones haven't been good. They have been quite good. Just in general, really. Oh, tail's completely gone. Yeah, the ramming one sometimes does get stuck doing that because it's turning circles. It's not quite zero, but it is very tight. I think I did have to set the minimum distance up because it was crashing into the sea. Yeah, what was it we had before with these? They crashed into the sea? Oh, they had no resources. That was it. Okay, two damaged. We got it. Took a bit more damage than we should have, but they can steal the resources from this guy to repair. Oh, they built, uh, oh, they built another craftsman. <laughs> yeah, I think that's their main fortress, right? It's got the biggest logo by far. But it did also say about destroying Damascus, and I have no idea where that is. Then again, those sky rays are already on the way. It's not that like they can't fly over the top and intercept. Right. Moving out. Are we fast enough to intercept that? Out. No, but that lo that one Lance airship will be. Uh, you guys will need resources, though. Yeah, we've got some commodities. We can afford to spend that. Listening. Moving out. Moving out. It's on the line. It's definitely faster than 30 meters a second, right? Oh! No, this one isn't, because this is the one where we, um... Listening. Uh, hang on, where's Rich? Fit. Okay. Retrofitted back to its proper engines and things. I forgot we uh we tweaked it. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, 
They'll be very fast as intercepted, some of them. The second fleet is almost there. Moving out. So, what? Point one. Listening. Let's have them do that fight first. Listening. Skyrays are going to attempt a stealth raid. Oh, at night and all. On the enemy uh, headquarters. We're also going to pick out the ICBM facility and tell them to target that first, because that one slightly worries me. Right. Our enemy fighters in the area. Quite a lot of them, in fact. Oh, yeah, they're launching nukes already. Oh, something just went boom. I think one of the nuke facilities maybe got hit mid-build. <coughs> Whoa, what is going on over here? Oh, we're only an EV, aren't we? Oh, standby repairs, I think. Wow, look at this thing. Airfield, huh? Was oh, that the nukes? You might want to run, Skyrim. I think that's a nuke coming in at you. Yeah. Oh, we might just lost one there. We have, but they are zombies. They might come back. If you one bad hit, doesn't mean those are dead. If we lose two at once, that might be bad. Yeah. I think their nuclear facilities have been knocked out in that first attack, anyway. That was a large explosion, whatever that was. Engaging now. Yeah, target that. We do not want to building more nukes. Actually, you might need to target the fighters as well, because they're... The other Skyrays might get back up, but the one that's in the air... Actually, yeah, hang on. Yeah, it might be on the ground, but I can still fire it. Buildings are basically repairing each other at the moment, which is not helping. I'm not convinced this is their home base, but it's certainly something important with this. Let's see if we can hit that, those little fighters, maybe help them out a bit. No, the missiles are still convinced they want to hit that. That's mostly fine. How's the still airborne one doing? Are you taking a lot of damage from those fighters? Let's see if you can't laser that fighter out of the air. Yep. I hit the ground. You got lasers, you should be good at shooting that aircraft. <laughs> oh, or your own tail, apparently. Oh, perfect top down bombing run there. Come on, hit him. He's right there. 
It is hitting him, in fact. Okay, I think we got it. No longer will their aircraft bother our, uh, our air forces. I don't know if this is actually their home base or not, but at the very least we've dealt a good blow to them. Probably lose the sky rays, but if they've caused chaos first... Fire! Their base is full of holes. <clears throat> Revox. Well, I assume the ICBM facility would be firing, but I'm not seeing any sign of new nukes being built. I know it's definitely the idea that it builds them during the fight, but maybe they're out of resources. Maybe maybe him those craftsmen has been doing one they thought. Ah. We're gonna hold fire for a moment actually, because we've knocked out their um their airbase. We'll hold fire so it can hit the other things. Maybe the base is hogging all the uh, materials or something. Bunkers are fixing each other, basically. How close are you to being airborne again? Still repairing. Actually, can it repair at this point, or is it too far out of enemy territory? Yeah, does that just mean it can't repair at all? Is that how it works? I thought they could still self-repair, but maybe they can't do a mid-battle. Actually, better idea. No, not the same movement. Uh, firing off. I just realised. We don't. We haven't done much piracy yet. Oh shoot! They just knocked it out. Say so we have not done much piracy yet in this campaign, but if we can capture a nuke launching facility. Oh God, how do I get out of the plane? Listening. And we just destroyed the nuke launcher. Oh damn it! I wanted to capture that. Okay, we'll settle for catching the uh, the little one. I've been trying not to use campaign designs, but I think capturing just ones that are still active is fine. Maybe like a replication rule. If you can capture it, you can build them. That could be an idea for a campaign. Like a piracy campaign, you've got to capture it manually, otherwise you can't use it. You know, like we can only use the designs that we've necked. But we can like build as many of them as we want. I think our own bases would be fair. Our own specialist designs as well, but Ah oh dear, a bit of a trek. Old faithful. This barrel still does not rotate. Yeah, engine sounds from the Sparry. There it goes. Yeah, I guess maybe the others can't repair at all where they are. That's kind of a shame. I don't know whether it's just not in battle or just because they're... Because um, we're too far away from friendly territory, but... I hope not, because otherwise we're going to have to ditch the two damaged ones to get away. I guess we can gather the salvage, but it's not ideal. But yeah, we could always strap extra cargo boxes to the one active Skyray and then have that haul away the damaged ones, basically, in, in scrap form. Yeah, hello, little base... We'll missile launch base. That is not working for some reason. I wish to steal you. Actually, what was this? Was this a turret? I guess so. Where's the air? Oh, it's there. Actually, do I have a do I have a fist? Yeah, we'll go for the 
crystal. Seven. Oop. Hey! It's ours now. What actually is it? Don't know. We'll come back to that in a minute. Anti-air cannon. Okay. Right. Something was blockaded, right? Listening. Okay. These sky rays are fighting Listening. the retribution. So we'll go to them. <sighs> right. The icons overlap and you can't properly get aboard. Some weird quirk. Right. More sky reaction. Go. What is a retribution? I think that's a surface warship? It's not at all, it's a fighter. Okay. Aim for the big one. Whoops, accidentally take a screenshot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear, that was not a good fight for him. He did pick on three crafts with highly accurate long range lasers. Well, highly accurate, big quotation marks, but with fairly accurate long range lasers. Oh, okay. Retrib so, retributions. Not a threat to a Skyray. Alright, are you guys able to repair up there? They're able to move, so I would say yes. Right, that was clearly not their headquarters, though. But, does that mean their headquarters are to the north on land? Is that where they've hidden them? Because I don't see it. I don't see the name of the vehicle they were talking about. Attacking the refinery. Oh. Listening. Is it worth trying to create something to defend that refinery? Listening. How many refi how many commodities does it have on board? It might as well try and defend itself. I have to decide what I think would be best. There's enemies right there. Troll 2s, right? Probably. They're cheap. We can build lots of them in a quick time. We'll do three patrol 2s and maybe... We'll do a few patrol 2s. Maybe some torpedo variant ones. One, two, three... Or five. Two torpedo ones. And I don't know, maybe a couple of minnows. Listening. Listening. Receiving. Receiving. Oh pull. Listening. Moving out. Receiving. Moving now. Listening. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dragoons, you want Listening. to leave unless you can fight that? No. Moving out. You're not one airship, you can't run. Moving out. Listening. Hunter fleet. Listening. You, what is that? Cyclone, that's the submarine. Uh... Moving out. Why not? You can cut across to there. Listening. Moving out. You definitely should be fast enough to get away from that. Right. Yeah, they don't seem to be that bothered about attacking us here. Right, let's have a look at that anti-air cannon. We may have to um, equip it with self-repair bots. Um, so I don't know exactly what this machine is. I've not seen one. Oh, we're not in f we're not in friendly territory, right? We haven't captured it. We can't even capture it because we're not. Yeah, we're not even near friendly territory, are we? The Sky Fleet is damaged, but I'd like them to do a bit of scouting over land if they can. They can still move at full speed, yes. Let's have them scout over land and see if we can find that Damascus that is supposed to be the base. I think a stealth strike is going to be. Our best bet against the Steel Striders at this point. Some kind of directly bypass their defences and attack their base type attack. Listening. Moving out. Okay, how goes the battle here? Let's. Ah, oh, there was as much time as possible to repair the fleet. Let's fill these boys up. Battle for the defense of this base. We will make sure everyone's deployed up as intended. Receiving. Minnows will take the wings. Receiving. Receiving. Control twos. Receiving. 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 Just 
scattered about the place in general at range. Receiving. Receiving. We'll be on board that one. We're fighting, what are we fighting? A Sabre, a Laco, and a Hydra. I'm assuming these are planes of some sort. The Patrol 2s were built with very, accurate, with very agile missiles, so... They will be able to track no problem. The problem might be that thing because yeah, it's a it's a it's a munitions defense screen. I remember that ship now. Might do with the amount we have. It looks like they might be able to overwhelm anyway. Oh, dragoon's the gunship thing, right? It was anyway. Some of the patrols are taking damage. Gunship's down. We could target that thing. Jesus Christ. The horde listens. One of the patrols is getting bodied. It might just be able to shoot all the missiles down, in which case we might be better aiming for something else, but... Hopefully that means the torpedoes travelling under the surface will get it. about to overwhelm its screen? Is it about to start taking hits? No, it's just very good at defending. Okay, aim for that thing that's ramming one of our ships, please. The Minnow's still here? Minnows are apparently still here, but I don't see them anywhere. I suppose that's the point, the submarines. Are there any torpedoes coming in against that thing yet? Not that I can tell. Oh, we're starting to get hits through. <coughs> I think we knocked out one of its seawards turrets there. Whoops! <coughs> we did more than just the seawards turret, apparently. Are we about to capsize it? I think we're about to capsize it. Oh, you're not going to defend very well when you're upside down. Big slowdown. Not sure what just exploded there. Yeah, as suspected, its defences do not work so well when they are pointed into the sea. Look what those smoky-looking missiles are. Oh, jeez. The flytrap, maybe. Yes, you guys should be aiming for that. <laughs> Engage now. You guys weren't listening before. Please target that. Oh, the torpedoes are. Missiles are not. Interesting. Well, some of them are. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> Big wave of torpedoes missing the target. Come on, guys. Trying for something else I can't see, but. How is this thing still finding? It's upside down. It's still hitting us with missiles somehow. So that is the advantage of the Patrol 2s being cheap. Each individual one lost is not too bad. And there's still quite a few of them, and they still mostly seem to be firing okay. Thought we brought some fly traps, but maybe they've been knocked out immediately, I don't know. By the way, I think the refinery is going to escape intact, and it only took some of its own resources to do it. Torpedo hits, what's upside down? And might that might be the minnow with that little barrage. I believe it's still yeah, they're still there. They're both still there actually. I don't know where, but they are both still up. Those flat guns are firing at um something? 
I'm not entirely sure. All that kinds of barrage of torpedoes are actually locked on. Oh, just it's immobilized. What a shame. <laughs> They're even lining up in a firing line. Jeez. Good work, guys. You did great. Yeah, genuinely, actually, you did great. Want us that fight? Not too much difficulty. Cool. With that little defensive battle one, I think that's what we'll call the episode. Ah, and I think we just uh, we've located their base. It's defended, but not super heavily. The problem is our offensive force is not fit to attack at the moment. They'll stay as scouts. Right. That's what we'll call that episode. I'll see you guys all again next time, where we'll try build a direct attack on those guys. See you guys on the next one. Goodbye.